G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. And I think regular viewers will be surprised that I'm showing this for two reasons. Uh, usually I don't show race cars or former race cars and I certainly don't show Sylvia's. Now that's because uh, later model Sylvia's which tend to be drift modified or modified for drift and mistreated, you know, they just all look crappy. You know, from their mistreatment or uh, and I, just, and I just don't like that stancy stuff, guys. Oh, go, to a, go to another channel if you like that. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is a race car and this is a Sylvia and it's an S13 Sylvia. And I've got to say, I don't mind it. And that's high praise coming from Wasabi Cars, let me tell you. And actually on the same day, uh, in, in the same area, I saw a completely stock standard one parked in a private garage. I could just sort of see the back three quarters and I didn't take a photo of it because you know it was a main road, a private residence. It was just not the right time or place for me to do it but I really liked it. Now let's just go back over some older Sylvia's because uh, there's the CSP311 which I have not shown a video for but stay tuned guys. This car is a beauty. Check it out. Um, and then you know I missed the generation. The S10 I've never seen in my life. And then there's the S110 or the S uh, what, S110. Actually, <laughs> that really rolls off the tongue. I briefly saw this at a convenience store. That does interest me because I never see them. Um, let's just stop there because anyway, guys, there's this S13 which I saw on the side of the road, and I, I pulled in and it's a workshop and I spoke to the guy. Super friendly. I could take photos. And uh, his business was an Italian sports car business and he was saying things have really dried up. So um, what he's done is he's now sort of pivoted, is that the word? He's pivoted and now he works on Lotus. Lotuses or you know those uh, 7, Super 7 kit cars, Caterhams or whatever they're called. Well there's a lots of names for them. But yeah, super friendly guy and uh, he, he has a passion for cars which is so refreshing when you come to a car place and they're all uptight. Yeah. But anyway, super nice guy. Excellent. And actually check out the car behind the Sylvia. That also caught my eye, so keep an eye out for that in a later video. Okay guys, um, as for the actual Sylvia, we should talk about it. Check out those wheels. They look like BMW, but they're not. There's like a different brand name. It's clearly a ripoff. <laughs> um, over fenders. Oh, this car is not for drifting. And guys, if that is plain to see for you, it's not for me because I just don't know. Um, it is for grip, a racetrack, gets around, and um, yeah, it's just sort of sitting here guys, just withering away, which is sad to see. Interior, yeah, the window is broken by the looks, you can see right in there. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, Sylvia, wasting away, sad to see. Um, oh, before I go, oh my god, is anyone still watching? I've got to do some shout outs for two people. Japanese car videos, JCV, they're on YouTube and also Facebook. Now this guy is a friendly guy, interactive, he likes sort of chatting, he's not like one of those crappy Facebook pages. Um, he is into race cars, cars that race, not, not just looking pretty and he likes cars that actually go uh, in Japan and so check him out and also GT channel, this is also sort of more up their alley so um, yeah JCV, Japanese car videos and GT channel, check them out on Facebook and YouTube and uh, I think it's time for me to go but uh, thank you so much for joining me, take it easy, see you.